Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to uh, use VSDC video editor. It is one of the best video editor, free video editor till date. Although you have Window Movie Maker, but they have limited functionalities. But uh, in the open source version, it is one of the best free video editor I have seen. Now uh, I'll today teach you how to use VSDC free video editor even if you are a newbie even if are recently installed you have recently installed this VSDC video editor I'll teach you in just few minutes how to use this awesome video editor so what you need to do once you open this just click on blank video now you need to create the project give the project name my funky name okay and finish this interface will open now here the preview of the video will be seen and this is the timeline now these are the tools with which you can import your video audio images in the editor so here it is just second from the bottom add video okay just click on the video icon and now import uh, uh, every time when you import this window confirmation window will appear it asks you from where you want to start this window from cursor position from scene begin to send in and position okay so here the cursor is the at the start so we want to import it here if you want to import this here or after two second interval you can again import and you can say that at cursor position so the video will be imported here okay now your video is imported this is the preview button now once you click the preview button you can see the preview video of your currently video getting being edited now uh, again now for example I want to add another video at the start so it will do once again click on the import and now for example this is the video now I am saying from cursor position okay so this is cursor position this video is imported but this is overlapping from this video so what we'll do we'll drag the first video to the end of the drag the first video to the end of the secondly imported video now this is the secondly imported video second and this is the first imported video now we'll when we'll ask the uh, see the preview what will happen this will go seeing the first video and then the second video let's start okay okay so this is how you can keep importing many videos clips and arrange them accordingly in any order as you want to wish okay now let's say you want to import an image or a logo this is one of the very important tool you can import a transparent logo or a non transparent logo and overlap it on the video for example I want to import this logo now what you will have to do you have to just drag it and keep it here you can keep it anywhere but since it is a logo I will keep it at the bottom left ok now start this logo is visible you can import any image and uh, put it anywhere for example uh, it, it is from start to end for example I want it to appear only at the end what we will do we will click the here and just drag it and keep it here now the logo will appear 
at the end okay now another thing what if you want uh, if you want to give some tool tip or you know some message just 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 click here this is the tool tip just click here from cursor position let it leave it there now after that just after clicking you have to click anywhere in the video and just drag and expand the text now you have to edit this text now right click here and click on edit text now nice mobile okay so this tool dip will be there now you want the tool tip to appear at this part of the video only so what we'll do we will you know drag this clip and make it short in it or long in it according to your need this clip will appear you know here in the video okay now what if you want uh, if you want to trim the video you know you want to trim the video okay so i want to trim from here to here so what you'll do there is this icon you know this this one just just drag it drag it here you know and expand it to the selection of the clip which you want to remove okay now you want to remove this part of the clip now what you will do once you select it you know, just here So, what you want to do is to remove this part of the video. Now, yeah. Once you drag and drop this clip here, and you have to then again click on the clip which you want to remove because there may be many video clips here. Or, and you want to clip this you know trim this video so once you drag here and justify the length you want to cut after that you have to click on the clip okay I have clicked the clip and after that go ahead you know cut out highlighted section of the chosen out okay and that's it your video has been clipped this image is also okay so see this you can uh, clip it trim it okay you can also put graphs you know animations uh, and uh, text inside this for example you want to put certain text here okay my new form okay now you can edit this text you can edit the background you know to whatever color you want to you can shorten it and long end it and keep it in the position where this will appear Okay, so this is how you can okay now uh, we will uh, see how to you know sometimes what happens when you click here and here this uh, these clips up, disappear so what you have to do is to click here and the disappeared videos from the timeline will again be visible okay 
now what you want to do is to um, you know um, put a transition between these two clips you don't want this clip to abruptly end and another clip to abruptly start so what you will do just drag it here and now click on the second clip and click on video effects now same transition for example there are many transition styles are there for example you want to wipe okay now see how this will look start okay this is how you can choose any other transition if you you want to delete this just delete it and uh, choose another transition which you push okay now push you want to push it from scene begin so scene begin okay now so this is on okay. second video pushes itself on the first video okay, this is how you can do all the effects you know audio effects video effects adding objects putting lines you can do this you can also put contrast grayscale transparency into the video the, this is a property video in which you can edit it and do many advanced things which you can't do in a free version of uh, our normal editor and the amazing thing is it is free but one thing one last thing what you have to do is <coughs> uh, before exporting it to a project before exporting it to a movie file a video file what you have to do is to just click on settings and there is an option acceleration option make sure this is unchecked okay use hardware acceleration for encoding video make sure it is unchecked because what happens when these guys have intelligently put it here and just and whenever you will try to export a video they'll say these uh, including hardware acceleration in your project is a premium feature and you have to upgrade and this will be a pain in your head so just click on settings this is a one time setting you know and just click on extension change and make sure it is unchecked that's all now uh, our project is okay and we want to um, export it what we'll do click on export project okay click on the uh, file means format in which you want to export the project okay this is how you can change the name you know location okay and let's go let's go export project okay the project will be exported in few seconds as depending on the length of the video it will be exported the name of the video will be my funky name this is the path of the video c uses hp videos my funky name okay so this is how usdc is done and uh, yeah it is very easy to use you just have to uh, practice for one or two days <coughs> 